Welcome everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming with a Gwent guide for the monster faction in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. How to play them, how to build your deck. Well, the monster deck, unlike every other faction in the game, including Nulfgaard, requires you to actually have a lot of cards for it to be effective. Specific cards are the vampire cards, all of them. The vampire Kamara, Fleather, uh, Garkane, Bruxa, and Katakan. The Katakan especially, which I have somewhere around here, I just don't remember. There we go. Uh, is necessary. Why? Because it's 5 strength versus the 4 strength that every single other card is. And that protects you from Scorch. If an opponent plays Scorch after you've played the Vampires, it will only destroy the Katakan, not all your other cards as well. Of course, the Crones uh, have 6 strength, every single one of them, which you know means they can all be destroyed in one fell swoop. Uh, the Ericuses uh, have the Ericus Behemoth, which is 6 strength, the other cards are 4 strength. The monster cards require a substantial amount of cards to be effective as a deck. If you don't have them, don't play as the monsters, there's no way around it. As with my other videos, there's still links in the description which will tell you where to find the cards and where to find people who will play Gwent against you. Lacking in cards, just don't bother really, because they're, the other factions, especially the Northern Realms, will be better. So, what leader abilities do you have? You've got the Bringer of Death. Discard two cards and draw one card of choice from your deck. Whatever card you want, you can draw. Okay. Um, the King of the Wild Hunt. Double the strength of all your close combat units. The Commander of the Red Riders. This is more... <laughs> well, you can pick any weather card, so it's kind of okay, right? But obviously not as powerful as the other two. But it's still a very viable strategy. And then Destroyer of Worlds, restore a card from your discard, discard pile to your hand. Every single one of these leader abilities is viable. I'll go with the Bringer of Death, to be honest, um, in this case. Now, you need muster cards. Specifically the Vampire cards. Neckers are okay, don't bother with the Ghouls. The Ghouls are fucking terrible, just don't bother. The Crones, the Vampires, the Ericuses, uh, all that. Necker is kinda, eh, whatever. Actually, I'll get rid of the neck. No, no, I'll keep them. And the reason I keep, I'll keep them is because I don't want to get more than one of these muster cards, like say vampire cards. I don't want to have more than one of them in my hand. That's a problem. If you get more than one, then the advantage is a bit lost, but you can still get in a huge advantage over your opponent. You need the Catacan, you need uh, the vampires in general, the Ericuses, uh, the Crones. Though the Crones have weakness that they're vulnerable to Scorch, whereas the vampires are not if you have them. Obviously, hero cards: the Drog, Emlareth, the Lishan, and the Karen. The Karen is eight strength, but you can place it in melee or range. Obviously, you'll be placing it in melee because you your range cards are terrible, and it'll uh, buff them up. Range cards: what do you have? Well, look at this pile of crap. The only one that's worth using, if you have it, is the Grave Hag. But just don't go with it. Well, the only reason you might go with the Terrible deck if you're playing monsters is for the leader abilities, because the leader abilities are actually quite uh, decent. Because you've got uh, all these useful leader abilities that you could play. So, uh, I've got two Scorches, one Biting Frost, one Torrential Rain. I'll get rid of the Torrential Rain, no point in bothering with that. And instead, I'll get another uh, an impenetrable fog, and I'll get rid of the biting frost. Get an impenetrable fog, and I'll get rid of one of the commander horns and go for two clear weather cards. You should have two clear weather cards, two scorches, two commander horn, two uh, two decoys. The decoys are only really useful useful again if you're playing against. Um, an elf guard or the northern realms, especially the northern realms with their spies. Anyway, my opponent is an elf guard. Okay, so what did I get in my hand? Neckers, Ericuses, um, two vampires. I'll just replace one. I got impenetrable fog. Uh, I'll replace that Ericus Behemoth in my hand. And I have one of each muster card. So what am I gonna play? I'm gonna play the Neckers because I don't want to scare my opponent into just passing the round. If you go with something like the Crones or the Ericus or the Vampires, your opponent may feel the need to just give up, pretty much. Alright, I'm gonna discard two cards. I'm gonna go with the Impenetrable Fog and... Uh, um, Commander Horn. 
and I'll get the decoy, which means that I'll be able to use shell art. Now, a human opponent would realize what I'm doing here. I'm saving my cards to play the better ones later, like the crones. Well, I have two crones in my hand, so I might just actually play both of them, you know. Of course, the principal advantage with the perk is that you always get to keep one ca one monster card on the deck. That might be a problem with spies, though. <laughs> right? Big problem with goddamn spies. Playing the Ericuses. If you use this court, she'll just kill the spy, big deal. In which case, I revive Yennefer. I use Yennefer to revive him. That's about it. I'll just stop. Yeah, that's about it. Don't How do you deal with the monsters? Yeah, Simple. Biting Frost. No way around it. Scorch as well. Gonna, gonna. It's very, very effective against them. Um, you use either Biting Frost or Scorch or both of them to destroy the enemy. One thing I've done personally in certain games is that I use the Biting Frost. The opponent just kept shoving cards. And since, well, cards of Biting Frost have one strength, he ended up shoving... He ended up shoving... Okay, I'll go for... What do I lack? Hold on. I have a Vampire Crone and Necker, so I'll go with the Nericus. That's why this leader ability is so powerful. You can use Biting Frost, then have the enemy player use a lot of monster cards like Arrakis's, Necker's Crones, all that, until he gets over 10 cards in his close quarters field, or, you know, even more than that, a lot more, depends uh, on how the situation evolves. And when that happens, you dump that Scorch, if, if the strength of cards is one, if those are the most powerful cards, and all his melee cards will be destroyed. It works especially well with Velentret, if you have Velentret, then you can use that more effectively. Scorch obviously destroys the most powerful cards. Velentret destroys enemy cards uh, in melee, specifically, not yours. Scorch can destroy your cards as well. Feed me your pathetic Nelvgardian second-rate cards, which then no chance of winning. Oh, the Black Archer. That's how you win as monsters. Principal weakness, melee. 
They aren't really that hard to defeat, I'd say the Northern Realms are considerably harder to face any day of the week. But that's just my personal take on uh, Excellent the situation. Interest you? He'll play Gwent as well. He's a random guy you save in uh, side mission that pops up in Novigrad. It's a shame there's no other playstyle with monsters besides I will spam the fuck out of cards. <laughs> I hmm. I'll place one of the crones and one of the Ericuses. Or, sorry, Ericus is one of the vampires. Could probably use this ability better. No, oh, I was actually being stupid. It discards them. Okay, um. Hmm. I'll go with Avalok. Master cards versus master cards. I'll destroy his melee cards soon enough anyway. Kinda wish I had this uh, biting frost here though. Anyway, I'll just use that elemental. I'll use Velentret as the last card that I play. Well, he just saved his ass there with that card. I would have destroyed all his mugglers. Probably should have played that earlier. He may win, but he will not win the game. Because this happens. Of course. Don't you just love the ability of monsters to always come out on top? <laughs> if you have a d good deck. If you don't, wasting time.